when I used the the dish soap, <laughs> all the buildup went away. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel with this long overdue video. <laughs> it has been almost two years since my last true lock update. Um, uh, yeah, I, I reached two years, two years and one month of having locks and it has been a very interesting and exciting journey and this video is going to be really short but I'm going to go over the products that I use and some issues I guess that I am having with my locks. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're just going to jump right into the products that I am using. Again, I said this video is going to be short. <laughs> so with uh, first, I want to shout out uh, Lock RX. Lock RX sent me, they gifted me this lovely um, box full of all of their products. Their entire product line designed to care for your locks. So, I tried uh, three of the products this morning. I just, I just got the package, but the first one I want to talk about is the Flourish. The Flourish Root to Tip Organic Lock Mist. I really like this. It's easy to just, you know, spray on your hair um, from root to tip and kind of just massage it in there on both sides. Um, yeah, I really like this product. It smells really nice. And I'm going to talk about uh, hair smells <laughs> towards the end of this video and why I decided to switch from using water only, actually products, then water only for a little bit and then back to just going back to using products. I'll get to that. But this, I really like it. It smells really nice. It increases scalp hydration. It prevents dandruff. Um, again, it deeply, it deeply moisturizes. It, it alleviates dryness. I don't know why I really can't <laughs> speak. But um, yeah, I really like it. Oh, and the product, um, she makes it. Um, and she's from Alabama. So she makes all the products. And she's based in Alabama. So definitely love this nourish uh excuse me this flourish spray okay next in the box we have um an edges restore cream i've actually never uh seen something like this before but i used it on my edges this morning it's not for like slicking down but really to um kind of help restore your edges that are thin from styling braiding or chemical applications um I don't do too much of tight styles on my hair, but sometimes when I do my retwist, I can get a little too tight sometimes. But so this is really nice to kind of prevent any thinning. Uh, again, I used it on my edges this morning, and it smells nice. It's a very um, it's not too thick of a cream, um, but it's 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 pretty nice. I really I I like it. I like how it smells, um, and it has aloe vera leaf juice in it. So that's, a, that's the first ingredient that's in this particular product. The next thing is the anti-itch oil. I haven't tried the anti-itch oil just yet, but it's really cool. It has like these herbs um, at the bottom of it. Well, actually this entire thing um, is filled with herbs. So it has some really good oils in here, some hemp seed oil castor seed oil, tea tree oil, winter green leaf oil, and a whole bunch of other <laughs> um, stuff. So I, I can't wait to uh, try this actually. And then this spray, I mean, excuse me, this oil I did try this morning. This is the Inches, Inches <laughs> Nourish and Restore Organic Scalp Oil. And um, this smells really nice. I put some on my, um, scalp uh, this morning and it has the herbs at the bottom of it some rose petals and some other good stuff um, thank you lock rx for sending me this package so now i want to get into some products that i used um like the past year or two um the first one 
The first one I want to mention is uh, my friend. She has a skin a skincare and a hair care line called Metanoa Melanin, and so um, I have a lot of her products for you know my skin, um, some body creams and stuff like that. But um, this one she has it's a herbal whipped hair butter. She has other products, and I'm gonna link all the products that. I'm going to show in this video um, in the description box of this video, but um, this is her herbal whipped uh, hair butter. It has lavender, peppermint, rosemary, ginger, ashwagandha, and um, some other herbs in it. And I know a lot of people with locks don't like, or they stay away from shea butters and other types of butters, but when you use it properly, there's not buildup. At least for me, there's no true buildup. So, um, I use this when my hair is wet or I'll spray my hair with some warm water and I only take like a little bit of it and I just kind of, you know, put it all in my hands and kind of just massage it through maybe like the ends of my locks. Um, again, it makes my hair smell really nice, um, it softens my hair, um, so that's when I like to use it so not a lot so when I wash my hair and stuff like that I don't have buildup so um, yeah then the next thing um, I have used this oil for about a year and this is the 10 in 1 hair growth oil with chevy powder I can't pronounce it I think that's how you pronounce it but it has chevy powder um, peppermint oil rosemary oil castor oil a lot of different types of oils and I think this is what contributed to my um, hair growth that I kind of noticed. I feel like my hair just kind of hit the, the, like this growth spurt after I started using this. So um, I forgot how much it is but I'll just link it in the description box. Um, but I'm also excited to try the Lock RX uh, hair growth oil. So um, in conjunction with both of those, I'm pretty sure my hair is gonna really <laughs> flourish. Uh, but yeah, I really like it. I only use it at night, maybe two to three times a week, sometimes once a week. Um, I was using it every night at one point in time, and then I slowed down because it's a, it's a little bottle. <laughs> so, um, but uh, this is an amazing oil. It has. A little bit of a, a smell too, like a strong. It's not a bad smell, but it's a stronger smell. So that's why I only use it at night. And the next thing, um, so I switched up how I retwist my hair. I decided to try the Talia Wajid products, the Lock It Up gel. Um, I did a lot of research on other gels to use for retwisting because I tried retwisting my hair with water one time, and I think I mentioned this in my first uh, Lock video that. That doesn't last long for me and it's a waste of my time to spend time retwisting my hair with water for it to not last three days later. Like I'm not I'm not gonna waste my time doing that. So I got this lock it up gel and my hair likes it. I like it. Again, another smell good product. It smells good and there's no buildup for me. No buildup at all. It's easy for me to wash my hair when it comes to wash day. I like it. This is what I plan on using um, until I find something different. But speaking of washing my hair and um, no buildup and stuff like that, so I've done two lock detoxes. Actually, no. Yeah, I think I've done like two or three. The first time, actually, I used Dawn dish soap. You heard that correctly. I experimented because my first started doing like my retwist in my locks. The first gel I was using, it was fine, but it wasn't giving me the hole that I wanted. And so I found some, you know, some random like the lock beeswax stuff. Cause I just, I just only thing that I had on hands before I found the lock it up gel decided to use that of course for me that caused the buildup and um, when I used the the dish soap <laughs> all the buildup went away and my hair wasn't dried out um, I you know just can't continue on moisturizing my hair was totally fine um, and so I think I used it again another time but I mean it's not something I use all the time I haven't done that 
in about I don't know nine months so um yeah so other than that I've used the apple cider vinegar and baking soda detox um honestly my hair is soft from it but it I don't know like it just doesn't really do it for me I'm not sure if that makes sense but it's just maybe I have to go to someone to do it but it's just not the detox for me yeah but don't be like you know slandering me in the comments <laughs> because um, that's just for me, I just don't prefer it. Um, but I do wash my hair on the regular with the Dr. Bronner's uh, soap, the orange one. Some people hate it, some people love it. My hair loves it and I'm going to continue to wash my hair with it until I find something different. I wash my hair in my body and my body loves it. So, <laughs> um, um, But yeah, so that's what I use to wash my hair. That's also a, l a little bit goes a long way. Um, that's also the shampoo that I used in, um, I did like a quick Instagram reel of me washing my hair. Um, that was the shampoo that I was using. That's all I can say about washing my hair. Um, so I think I said I wanted to mention, um, crossing my legs as I do this, but I think I wanted to mention some of the things that I Actually, one of the things, no, what, no, some of the things that I don't like about the current state of uh, my locks. So, the first thing is uh, the length. So, yes, it's a good length growing down here, but up here, it's like some are long, some are short. The other issue I have is like some are super skinny and some are kind of thicker and they're right next to each other, but they're different. Uh, lengths and um, it's just a lot going on like as you can see it's like I, I, I'm probably I, I always do this I'm probably thinking too much I'm probably thinking too much about it but yeah so that's what that looks like So, I mean, it's not too bad. I just kind of wish these locks were a little bit, um, see, like, look at that. It's kind of, it's kind of short compared to even this side and, like, some locks that are right next to it. Like, this is right here and this is right here. They're, like, right next to each other, kind of. Yeah. But, it's, so, it's, like, super awkward lengths going on. And then some are thick and some are thin and... Yeah, but speaking of thinness, for some reason, I guess because of due to pure laziness, I don't retwist my hair as um, often as I should. I do it about like every um, eight weeks because I was scared of like, I don't want to do my like retwist my hair too much because I was scared of it like thinning. But now for some reason, some of these locks, um, they, my new growth grows out of the lock. So, um... I feel like I have to maintain that um, quite often and that's only a few at the bottom nothing up here um, my locks up here like the new growth doesn't grow out of the lock it's just down at the bottom so so I'm kind of having some issues with that I had keep telling myself I want to see a loctician uh, at some point in time but until I find the right one I'm just gonna hold out <laughs> and just maintain my locks and just keep doing what I'm doing for right now um the other thing is you know the lock placement I feel like the like I guess maybe how my locks are parted I feel like that's kind of awkward so like right now I feel like one side is thicker than the other and it's kind of middle partish in a way but I feel like that looks funny like uh, on camera it's just hard to explain or I'm not explaining it right or I'm just thinking too much about it I, I, I think that's but that's that. Um, but I, I like my hair a lot. Other than that, I really like my locks. Super easy to maintain. This is a, a great decision that I made for my hair. Um, I dyed my hair, you know, kind of bleached it, uh, used a, a box dye. Um, 
<laughs> I use a box kit uh, to do my hair, but my hair is thriving and it's not dry or anything like that. I decided to just, you know, do the blonde up top and uh, keep it black at the bottom. Um, and yeah, that was that. And um, yeah, I don't really do much styles to my hair besides like a bun and ponytails real quick and yeah, nothing major, you know, I might do some half up, half down styles, um, nothing too major, um, yeah, that's it. So uh, again, this is a short video, uh, not too much to talk about when it comes to locks, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but I will try to get back on here as much as I can. I'm mainly on Instagram posting about my locks. Um, that's where you're going to find me most of the time. But please do subscribe. The more subscribers I have, I think the more I'll be motivated to truly get back into doing YouTube again. Um, had the momentum going a couple of years ago and then I just dropped it. But um, yeah, please subscribe. Please like this video. Please share it. Please comment down below any questions you have, any encouraging words that you have for me in my lock journey, um, any suggestions or tips about this whole um, lock, the, the new growth going out of my locks situation that I got going on, you know, anything like that, I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching.